subscribe to our channel, and hit the bell icon, to never miss a video from us. Hi everyone, welcome to Test Prep Training. In this video you will learn about the top interview questions for managing Microsoft Teams MS 700. So let's get started. Question number 1, list the methods to migrate an existing organization with Skype for Business to Teams? Your answer is, there are two methods for migrating an existing organization with Skype for Business to Teams. 1. Overlapping Capabilities Method. 2. Select Capabilities Method. Question number 2. Describe the overlapping capabilities method. Your answer is. The users in an existing Skype for Business organization are introduced to Teams so that they can use both clients side by side during a transitional phase. The mode for this configuration is referred to as Islands, and this is the default mode for any existing organization with Skype for Business. Once the organization is ready, the administrator moves the users to Teams only mode. Question number 3. Describe the select capabilities method. Your answer is. The administrator manages the transition of chat, calling, and meeting scheduling functionality for users in their organization. Moreover, administrators manage the transition by progressively migrating more users into Teams only mode. Question number 4. List the limitations of MMS. Your answer is. The meeting migration service cannot be applied in the following cases. 1. The user's mailbox is hosted in Exchange on-premises. 2. The user is being migrated from the cloud to Skype for a business server on-premises. Question number 5. How to create custom persona. Your answer is. 1. Go to the Network Planner in the Microsoft Teams Admin Center. 2. On the Personas tab, click plus Custom Persona. 3. In the new Custom Persona pane, add a name and description for the new persona. 4. Select the permissions that this persona will use within the organization. 5. Click Save. Question number 6. What is a Network Planner? Your answer is. Network Planner is a new tool that is available in the Teams Admin Center. It can be found by going to Planning to Network Planner. Moreover, Network Planner can help you determine and organize network requirements for connecting Microsoft Teams users across your organization. Question number 7. What is the use of tenant assessment? Your answer is. Every plan includes a tenant readiness assessment that you can use to quickly identify aspects of your environment, that may need remediation before you roll out Teams. The assessments include prerequisites and best practices. Question number 8. Define CRM? Your answer is. The CRM is a technology for managing all your company's relationships and interactions with customers and potential customers. It is basically intended to improve business relationships to grow your business. Moreover, CRM system also helps companies stay connected to customers, streamline processes, and improve profitability. Question number 9. What is prefix suffix naming policy? Your answer is. Prefixes or suffixes is used to define the naming convention of groups. The prefixes or suffixes can either be fixed strings, or user attributes like that will get substituted based on the user who is creating the group. Question number 10. What are Teams? Your answer is. Teams are a collection of people, content, and tools surrounding different projects and outcomes within an organization. Teams can be created to be private to only invited users. Moreover. Teams can also be created to be public and open and anyone within the organization can join. Question number 11. What are the two main roles in Microsoft Teams? Your answer is. 1. Team owner, the person who creates the team. Team owners can make any member of their team a co-owner when they invite them to the team, or at any point after they've joined the team. Having multiple team owners lets you share the responsibilities of managing settings and membership, including invitations. Two. Team members, the people who the owners invite to join their team. Question number 12, how to create a private channel for a team. Your answer is. 1. Go to the team you want to create the private channel for and choose add channel. 2. Enter a name and description for your channel. 3. Under privacy, select the down arrow on the right, and then select private, accessible only to a specific group of people within the team. 4. Select add. This adds a private channel to the team. Question number 13. Explain phone systems. 
Your answer is. Phone system is Microsoft's technology for enabling call control and private branch exchange capabilities in the Microsoft 365 or Office 365 cloud with Microsoft Teams. Moreover, it allows you to replace the existing PBX system with a set of features directly delivered from Microsoft 365 or Office 365. Question number 14. What are auto attendance and call queues? Your answer is. Auto attendants allow you to set up menu options to route calls based on caller input. Whereas, call queues are waiting areas for callers. Used together, auto attendants and call queues can easily route callers to the appropriate person or department in your organization. Question number 15. Explain the call park and retrieve in Microsoft Teams. Your answer is. Call park and retrieve is a feature that lets a user place a call on hold. When a call is parked. The service generates a unique code for call retrieval. The user who parked the call or someone else can then use that code with a supported app or device to retrieve the call. For more such videos, subscribe to our channel.